Hey guys, welcome back to the show. Today we're gonna to be talking about should you start an app business today? I'm gonna to try to encourage you guys to get in there if you've been thinking about releasing an app, why now is the time to do it? And the reason why is I think things have actually bounced back. I'm just gonna take you through my journey over the last six months with making a subscription-based app. And back in February, things were on the up. I had 10 paying subscribers, 10, I know it's not much, it's a little bit, it's baby, baby, money. Imagine how it grows in the future, but I had 10 paying subscribers, and in that one month, it grew 50%. It went from 10 to 15 in February. Things were about to skyrocket for my app. I was very excited. And as you can see, in March, we went from 15 paying subscribers to 20. So from February to March, we went to 15 to 20, things were on the up. Coronavirus had just hit the world, just about touching America right now. And then the lockdown happened. April, worst month of my app's history, it shot all the way down from 20 down to 13. So I wasn't as low as I was at the beginning of February. I was still three up on that. But for the next two months, I was completely flatlining. I was down to 12 by the end of May. Things looked grim. In my industry for this app that I'm using, um, it's for doctors, cosmetic surgeons, that kind of stuff, they weren't even allowed to operate during this period. So it made sense to me why they stopped paying subscriptions. With subscriptions, you need to pay monthly. If you use it, if you don't use it, you know, what's the point of paying for it? So I lost a good chunk of my subscriber base. I lost a good chunk of my progress and things were looking grim. However, in June, I went from the flat line of 12 back up to 13. I gained one subscriber. I was very excited. I published a video about two months ago saying things are on the up. And boom, look at July, 20 subscribers again. We grew 50% in July. So I saw in February, we were doing well, March went higher, and then boom, down and up again. V-shaped recovery is here. Now I'm not a fortune teller, I'm just a positive kind of dude, and I'm sensing this word on the street, I'm seeing the restaurants back open here, at least in Australia, and my clinics, the people that are using my subscription base, they're at worldwide. Actually, most of my subscribers are in America, and I guess most of the businesses, cosmetics, that kind of stuff, they are back in operation. And the one thing you need to remember is, like the governments of the world have printed a hell of a lot of money. So all of the, you know, markets not buying stuff anymore, currency isn't worth as much as it was. So maybe we can spend a bit more money. I don't know what the situation is. I'm seeing a bit of prices going up for certain items. So there is a bit of inflation, whether it affects the big markets, like the housing markets and all that kind of stuff. I don't know. All I can show you is that at least in the app business, in this app business, I went down and v-shape back up i'm excited for next month so i'm telling you guys out there if you are considering making an app and you're worried about what is this pandemic gonna cause well one you know it's caused us to use apps more we're more likely to use office-based online applications businesses are more open to working remotely so positive 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 and if you're thinking about maybe a b2b to support a local business or b2b to support you know the medical industry other industries restaurant industries showing right here that it is not a bad time to jump in because you're not in that scary time of March or April anymore. Things are looking good. The world's kind of like stabilizing on the state of play as it is. Of course, I'm not a fortune teller. I can't tell you what's gonna happen in the future, but I'm telling you, like, if you're thinking about it, don't procrastinate, just start learning, get back on it. Everyone is gonna be excited for it, fingers crossed. But I'd love to know how your app stories are going out there in the world. Let me know in the comment section below what apps are you making? How is your app performing in this time of interestingness? 2020, the year of interestingness. And uh, that's it, I'm just sharing my knowledge, sharing my experience with making apps. One thing I do say is I personally view making apps as a farming activity. There's two kind of activities, there's mining and there's farming. I've worked at studios where they treated it like mining every single friggin' day was just feature city. They wanted to cram as much junk in the application as possible, as much issues. They just, they just wanted to just feel like they were doing work. And the problem with that is you might be 100% on the features you're putting in, but you need to think from the customer. The customer spends five minutes at most on your application. So if you jam pack the app with lots of features, most of the customers are just gonna get confused. So I treat my, my application development nowadays. I used to be a miner before, but now I'm a farmer, as in I plant a seed and I watch it grow, I water it. I plant lots of seeds, I watch it grow, I water it, I make sure it's nourished, I really, slow it down, take it easy. And the great thing about farming is it grows, even if you're there or not, it's growing into a beautiful business. 
fingers crossed you just keep on supporting it keep on watering it and things go well the other activity of course is mining maybe trying to be a copycat app just trying to cram as many features as possible just hitting the wall as much as possible trying to figure out trying to strike that gold that could drive you crazy that's gonna cause a lot of burnout that's gonna cause a lot of issues i remember my last company i was getting married i was on holiday and i was getting married and, and they, were, they were messaging me I was about to get married, saying we need to release a build. They didn't even have any customers paying them. It was, I didn't understand the logic. So I recommend if you can, try to get in the product mind of things and try to just think on the customer, on the feature and slowly cultivate that user base rather than just trying to smash for gold, unless you've got the energy. Of course, I'm older than maybe some of you guys out there. If you're young, mine away. But if you're older, maybe farm is the way to go. But of course, just my advice, try it out. Let me know how you guys go. Are you a miner? Are you a farmer? How's your apps going? And I hope you guys found this video useful and enjoyed the show. Now back to work.